Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen how we can plot various rash stars as well as shape files in Python. If you have not yet seen those videos, you can find the links of the videos in the description or in the i bar. In this video, we will see how we can clip a rash star for a certain shape file. So, we already know how we can do this simple process in QGIS. For example, if we see here, we have the data of the Krishna River Basin as well as the DEM of India which I downloaded from websites which I have mentioned in my previous video where you can download these data sets for free. So if we go to our current topic we can just mask the layer by going to extraction and clip by mask and here if we just give the input layer and run this file you can see that you can get the result here which is a clip mask and if I just hide this you can see that the whole area which is covered by the Krishna river basin is masked accurately as you can see here. So if you want to do this similar kind of process we can do it in python as well but you might think why do we need to do it in python when we can do this simply here. Although this procedure is simple, but let's say you have multiple rash stars which might not be DEM, they might be radar rainfall or some other data sets of warnings which you have multiple ones for various time steps. So if you want to clip those rash stars as well as plot them for every loop, then Python is an easier approach where you can write a code so that it goes into various loops and plots your restaurants. So in this video for our first case I'll just tell you how we can clip a single restaurants but in the coming video I'll show you how we can clip various restaurants and also how we can plot various restaurants with a similar color map. So getting back to the topic in this video we will see two approaches using which we can clip the rash star in a similar way in python. So the first method is using Fiona and Rasterio. So these are the plugins which we need in our python when you want to run the codes which I am showing. So Fiona is a plugin which is mostly used for understanding a vector data set which is like a shapefile and Rasterio is used for application of rash star data sets which it uses mostly GDAL in the background. GDAL is a library which is used for understanding and correcting or changing anything in a raster and vector data set. So if we see our code here you can see these are the various lines of codes which we can use for getting a clip mask similar to what we have seen earlier in QGIS. So let's understand this a little bit so that you can run it without any issues. So the first three lines as you can see here, here I am giving what is the input tip file what I want it to clip from and this is the river shape file which I want the data be, to be clipped for and this is the outlet file in which folder it should be saved and what is the name it should have. So these are the simple ones. So the first thing which I am doing here in these line is I am using Fiona and asking it to read the shape file. So already the shape file path is here. So it goes into the shape file path and just names it as shape file and reads it. So in the next two lines, what it is doing is it is going into the shape file and reading what are the various geometry elements in it. For example, this is a Krishna River basin. We have the outline of the shape file as you have seen here so it tries to read what are the various uh, geometries or polygons here in this raster and take that information so in this three lines it saves what are the various geometry information in shapes so once we know that we have a certain geometry information the next thing we do is we read our raster file so if you see here using rasteria i am opening my raster file as src and then the next step what I am trying to do here is I am saving the output image as well as its transformation. So in this step I am using 
Rastereo dust mask plugin as you can see here I have imported Rastereo.mask as mask so I am using that plugin going to this Rastar file whatever I have imported here and saying go to the Rastar and see this certain shapes and try to mask the layer so as you see in the QGIS here what we did is we had this big Rastar which I am putting it in Python now and then I am asking the code to go and see this uh, shape file and mask this shape file so that I can get a result like this. So that is what I have told the code to do here and in the next step I am just copying whatever the metadata like the projection coordinates and other data sets whatever the projection details are there I am asking it to save it as output meta and the next step I am just updating the metadata of my output by giving the driver as geotiff it's a tiff file which is a rastar file then I am telling the output height width and also what are the transforms which it has so in this way we are updating the metadata of our output and then finally we are saving it as output file and here w represents write and we are saving it with our metadata and writing it as the file so using this code if we run this code it will take only a few seconds for us to get the result if i go to this certain folder in downloads you can see here krishna version 2 was the name which i have saved and if i just take it into my qgis and open it here and you can see this is the result which i got from qgis if i place it it's exactly on the same location so this is one method how you can do this uh, masking of layer so if you see the code here in the previous version we have used fiona and our rastereo which rastereo was taken from gdal here instead of taking rastereo we directly take our gdal and wrap it so that we get the data so similar to our previous uh, code we are here giving the output raster uh, location and the data name which we want the input as well as the shape file so in this code what we are doing is we are directly asking the data gdal directory to put our raster file output here the input raster and the next thing which we are mentioning here is cut line ds name so there we have put our shapes if you remember here in this code so here we are saying it should crop with shapes which we already took our input from but here we already we are putting it in the name called cut line ds name so this is the shape file from which the data is cut and the next line crop to cut line represents is equal to true represents that we have a certain shape file if we see here if we put our original data again what i'm telling the code using gdal is see this is my shape file i want you to do the clipping in such a way that whatever the rest are is inside this boundary should be taken and everything else should be omitted so that is what i am trying to tell using crop line ds name and crop to cut line so after that i am just mentioning that my no data value should be zero so when we run this line directly it saves our rastar into this file name and here the next line outline equal to none represents that i'm just trying to close the data so that it does not take up more memory and stuff so one difference in while plotting the data using this code and this code is seen here if i run the code again the results will be obtained within few seconds the data is saved with krishna cut and if i go to the folder we can see here the data is here if i take it into qgis if we put it here and if i unmark this we can see that the data is at the same location if i just put the river basin on top you can say that it's masking everything so the data is at the same location but you might ask why are we doing in two methods we already have results etc if we see here the first method where i used fiona we are having a maximum value of 
1878 uh, elevation and minus 3 as the lowest whereas if I see the results from RAP we can see that it's 1903 times minus 1. So you might think why is this difference occurring? The main difference why is it occurring is because if we see the code here in this we have used Fiona to understand what the shape files are then taken those geometries to get our results whereas here we are directly dating from GDEL. So due to the issue of using different libraries the implementation of this method of clipping might differ so that is one reason why we are getting the difference in values like this. The next reason here is so if we compare this results from what we got from our QGIS if I just expand it here like this you can see that the results of RAP are quite similar to that of the results which I obtained from QGIS. So let's say if you believe that QGIS results is the accurate one and it is representing correctly about the data you want you can just use the RAP function so that you get the results easily. Another advantage of using RAP function is that unlike the Fiona function as you see here we are defining our metadata again and telling it and assigning it to the shape file in our results whereas wrap does not need much of anything because it takes everything internally based upon the data you are giving and you can just use this to get the results easy so in this way you can use these two codes to clip your rash stars if you want to plot it to look at aesthetically you can watch the previous video where i plotted a rash star in python so if you understood the concept please give this video a like subscribe to the channel and share it with friends whom you think this might be useful.